So I just touched on this mini gaming PC the other day by testing a Batocera build on it, but didn't really push it to its limits, I guess. So today I want to kind of expand upon that a bit, and I'm going to be running this Retro Beast build from Chris Colmod that has like Xbox 360, PS3, even Switch. So I want to test some higher end stuff here. But before we get into that, I'm going to be showing a bunch of footage that I've recorded. I'm really digging this, this mini PC. So the one that I have here is from Cam Rui. Okay. It's a Ryzen 7 uh, mini PC. I'll put all the specs up on the screen. But what I, I like about this is how you have the different options for performance, uh, auto or silent. So you could swap it around uh, just right here as far as like, I think silent was like, hey, just very light tasks. You're not going to really like, you know, push the power of the system to an auto mode to performance for gaming. So you got that. That's kind of cool. Right. And I, I don't mind the RGB. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. It looks okay. But what I really like with this thing was that you could just easily take off the side panel. It's just a couple magnets holding it in place. And then boom, you've got access to the, you know, M2 drive, your RAM. And then you also have another slot to add another hard drive if you want. I think that's really cool the way they have this set up. Just very easily accessible. You don't got to unscrew anything, take it all apart. But yeah, very nice little mini PC. I have another version of this one from Ace Magician that's a Ryzen 9 that we're going to be taking a look at pretty soon. But here you go. You got those two HDMIs, a few USB ports, reset. Looks like a little reset pin right there. Audio. Two more uh, USBs and then USB-C right there. But really nice little build quality here. So I just want to test a handful of games from a bunch of different systems. So just real quick, uh, with the Wii U, I noticed an issue with Tekken. I didn't even know there was a Tekken on the Wii U. But when I played it, the characters, like all their clothes was green. And I thought, is this a glitch or is this just the way the game is supposed to be? And I just said, screw it. I'll just keep playing it and recording footage. I looked it up and it was it's supposed to be just an issue that the first time you run the game through emulation that it happens and then once you uh, play it again, you don't have the green clothes anymore. So it seems like Wii U runs fine on the system without issue. It's just some known bugs here and there with the emulator, I guess. Yeah! Oh, 
it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I did try some uh, Nintendo Switch on this system, which I don't normally do, but I wanted to test it out. I have tried Nintendo Switch off of the uh, Retro Beast Drive on other systems without any issue, like my main PC, my laptop, stuff like that. Quite a bit more powerful than this uh, mini gaming PC. But running it on here, it seems like some things may run okay, some things are a little sluggish. so. Really hit and miss with Nintendo Switch as far as the emulator goes, but maybe there could be some, you know, settings to tweak. I'll have to dig into it in the future a little bit more. So overall, after having tested Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, all the, you know, the little bit higher end stuff like Dreamcast, everything else is going to run just fine on here. I've tested quite a few other systems in the previous video. I'll put a link down below, but yeah, just wanted to focus more on the higher end stuff here. You know, playing things like Borderlands on the PS3, uh, Burnout, uh, Revenge and the Xbox 360. Everything ran extremely well. So for a mini PC like this, I think they're really good for, you know, having a little emulation build if that's what you want you know something with a smaller footprint this this machine's a little bit bigger than a lot of the mini pcs that i've taken a look at but you know just with the way it stands up and it doesn't take up a lot of space uh, it gets the job done i know this company they're having sales going on on amazon link down below check out my amazon influencer page where i keep uh, tabs on every single mini pc that i review They'll all be in a list. You could take a look at those, see if they're, you know, listed on a Prime Day sale or whatever. Because uh, there's been some really cheap ones that perform decently well, then ones that are a little bit more expensive that can do a lot more. So just kind of, you know, up to you what what you think's worthwhile for you, right? I think this is a cool one, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Bye.